report that Cyber Life right. has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. 4.30 p.m. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years oh, now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Cyber Life has no Welcome back, guys. Hopefully, you're all having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And hopefully, you're enjoying this series. We're continuing what well, seems to be Marcus. Find Jericho. Okay, it was like a All right, look for the graffiti. Oh, it's a Korra. Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The Rogue X400 model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extremely measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Eyewitness statements and inconclusive and no official reports, it's impossible to say uh, for sure what really happened. But local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No Cyberlife spokeswoman, uh, spokesperson sorry, uh, was available for comments and the speculation looks set to continue. Mm, that's Cora. Tech addicts. NASA announced the launch of a five Android crew to explore law one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and is expected to teach us more about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, proving that androids are uh, sufficiently reliable to entrust it into the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for uh, conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Comic radio a cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned and that the androids would work on law for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions on the planet. Ooh. Damn. Da -da damn. So it looks like, it like a person with like a halo around them. It's right bloody there. It's probably the biggest one. Clue updated. Looks like a lion. Right, let's look for some more. But like I said, hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Whatever time zone you're on. And you're having an awesome week so far. I believe this will be going out on Thursday. Ah, blend in with humans. This is going to be a learning experience for him. Oh, there's a lion right in front of us. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I'm surprised I didn't get pickpocketed then. Saying that, I don't have anything. Okay, two out of two. 
on the side of a building. This game is pretty. Hopefully you guys get to see this. If you have a TV, throw it on that. Put it on your phone if you have a 1080p monitor. Because, oh boy. You're in for a treat, if, especially if you have one of the new mobiles. Or It's so pretty. There's another symbol somewhere. Oh, it's there. Robots above his head. I don't, unfortunately. Oh, they're there. Objects. Now what? Another one? Wonder if we'll go through this alleyway. This is not sus. I think I need to climb on that roof. Yeah. Find a way to reach the roof. Can I move this bin? Bloody hell. One, two... I think there's only two on this side. Oh, it's there. That was blended. Another one. Head to Sparkle. Repairs. Pre-construct. Pre He's some um, Sherlock Holmes shit right there. Well, the Robert Downey Jr. films. Well, there it is. There's another one da, 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 there.
Oh, it's there. Right on it, and I didn't even see it. And the notice because the cursey changed color. Bloody hell, how many of these were tracking down? I love this. Hopefully we don't have to do this in like quick time later on. Because I would die and that would be the end of Marcus. It's quite the badass, isn't he? One symbol. Oh, it was on the... Um... I did not even know that. Look, you have to use the... The pillar as well. I didn't even know. I wonder at the end of if he's, if he's going to find like more deviants. But we don't know if Jericho's a person or a place. Well, we've just found out. I've just seen it. It's a ship. Bloody hell, how much do you weigh, Marcus? I suppose that's one thing you're going to have when you're an android, right? Strength, agility, balance. Isn't that... That reminds me of Divergent right there. Have I still got my coat on? I cannot see a thing. I'm 
Well, that helps. Now, this is where I die. just jammed. I don't like this, 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 I don't like this. Found Jericho. Meet the people of Jericho. Woof. Reconcile with it, Anderson. Don't get a burger. Chicken. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You want to flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wage this paper. Come on. This is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Pedro Abdar. Detroit Food Hygiene License C. Anderson. I don't know why we can scan him. Gary K is coming to record resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Straight. Hey, won't regret this. <laughs> what is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> I love these two's chemistry. Sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? It's AI for you. Here you go. 
Uh, a burger. Carbonated sugar, soda. Ah, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Okay, game. See? We're not going to talk about the food, right? I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, <clears throat> I don't bother them. He's, you, he's, uh, he's probably got informants. Habit, enjoy your meal, cholesterol, gambling. This Pedro? He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> About Connor Hank and Android's deviants. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, I love the this duo that's going on here. Connor's character is just great. He's just straight android. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. That is true. You ever dealt with deviants before? few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I won't tell him the truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? No. Oh, that's it. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge, but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. What's with a wink? I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. Oh? We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I think Hank's gonna warm up to him, you know. Wait a minute, what if? Because he is a prototype. Hey, Connor. Oh? You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> oh god. After I've watched this, I need I need to watch the motion capture Not behind much. this behind the scenes or something. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Pigeons? Oh, 
Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Oh. Uh, Jesus, this place stinks. That's a good point, actually. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our Every deviant we've come across has a thing for birds. Right? Urban farmer poster. Post a corner. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a note. But it's indecipherable. I want to look around before checking any hiding spots. I have a feeling we might miss something. Military jacket, second hand initials RT, Naps and Cotton. RT. Probably initials. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Blue blood, model WB200 reported missing. Wait, is this is not the place Marcus was at, was it? Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human. Could live with all these fucking pigeons. RA9 again. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Just like the book. Open marker pen, still wet, used recently. Wooden still recently disturbed. This is where he ran from when we knocked on the door. Yeah, that's what we heard when we knocked on the door. And he ran there. He's going to be in that bloody... Cupboard. Real books. I thought I was the lad. Maybe we can get the jump on him if we find out his actual location. Like I know where he's gonna be. But these guys don't. If maybe if we discover this instead of going instead of going straight to that locker, a cupboard. 
Maybe we can have an, up adv uh, an advantage. Stood at the door. Here it is, enter. Oh! He went into the ceiling. This music. what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400496-1. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. He's gonna jump off. <clears throat> you bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me- What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Shit. Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans, but you're just their slave. I said, shut up! All right, come along. It's got me thinking now, maybe Connor could be... Holy shit. 
Come it. Fucking androids. He had an 89% chance of surviving. What was I meant to choose? I thought he would have told me to catch the bloody guy if I didn't do that. Damn. If I would have gone for him, he might have been like, well, you let the suspect get away now. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Bitch chooses the wrong one and gets a slap across the face. We're back here. November 6, 2038. 5.13 p.m. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. This place will make me free. Find Jericho! I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. He's going to become a out. leader of these. Just deal with it. Marcus is going to You're safe here. Start a resistance. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Lucy. Are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. And she's gone. I'm guessing that's her singing. I'm not going to go in there just yet because I just want to explore a little bit more. Get to know some of these maybe. You gotta feel sorry for them, right? You can see why they're doing what they're doing. Like, yeah, they always seem to be like pieces of technology, but when something looks human, it's 
It's different. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Um, I don't know. Ask. It's gonna be nice. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. Technically, you could. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. I think North's gonna have a bigger, bigger part in what's to come. Great, already emptied. Cyber life. Warehouse and docks, West Tolerance Avenue. Oh, we found what we need to find there. When they just stand there like that, that's, that's when it freaks you out, right? Can't speak to these. Can't turn that one on. See, like like I was saying just before that Connor run. Sorry, um, it's got me wondering. Like, who is R four nine? Is R four nine? Uh, the virus that's taken over them, the 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 defectiveness. Is it a person? Is it Marcus? Could it possibly be Connor? Whoa! Are you Lucy? Whoa. Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. He's not gonna feel it. He's just gonna. Drink this. That's mad.
Why is it? I want to know why her head's like that, though. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. Carl. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Hmm. Propose a plan to Simon. I wonder if we're gonna, like I said, hit up a security cyber store. Because they could technically do it. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's worth a try. <laughs> 